Hello and welcome to the Saptak Archives podcast. This is a new initiative by Saptak. A panel of serious musicians have undertaken to select gems of music from the Saptak Archives collection and also from other sources. The objective here is to propagate our musical heritage and to build a vibrant community around it. We do hope that you will enjoy this podcast and please do help us to improve it by giving us your feedback. Thank you. I am Manju Mehta, sitarist, founder trustee of Saptak School of Music. Namaskar. Sitar is the most popular instrument of Hindustani classical music. There are dozens of concert performers who have mastered this instrument. For an event organizer, it presents a problem of plenty. Most listeners perceive shades of difference in their presentation, but yearn to know how they are different. In this series, we present four different batch of sitar. These are Mahar Gharana, founded by Ustad Alauddin Khasai, Itawa Gharana, founded by Ustad Imdan Khan Sahib, Senia Gharana, popularized by Ustad Mushtaq Ali Khan Sahib, and Bishnupur Gharana, leading exponent being Pandit Mani Lal Nag. A leading exponent of each one of this Gharana Baj will give a commentary highlighting its special features and illustrating the same using representative recordings. I am sure all of you will enjoy this assemblage of sitar recordings curated by Gharana Baj leaders. The fourth in the series is the Vishnupur Baj, whose principal exponent is Pandit Mani Lal Nagji. Today's podcast is presented by his daughter, Miss Meeta Nag, who is an eminent sitarist of Vishnupur Gharana. And we are thankful for her valuable support. The terracotta temple town of Bishnupur, which presently lies in the district of Bakura of West Bengal, was previously known as Malabhum. Historical records show that the Malha kings appointed court singers in their royal house, which eventually led to a tradition of music evolving down the ages from the 13th century onwards. When Emperor Aurangzeb strictly banned any kind of cultural activity in the Mughal-occupied territories, the 54th ruler of the Malha dynasty, Raja Raghunath Singhadev II, 1702 to 1712, undaunted by the emperor's red tape, invited Bahadur Shain, a descendant of Than Shain from Delhi, along with the eminent Pakwaj player Peer Bucks to settle in Bishnupur. The musicians, whose livelihood was at stake in the emperor's regime, sought for employment elsewhere, and the invitation from Bishnupur seemed a golden opportunity, which Bahadur Shain readily accepted. This is what history tells us about the origin of the Bishnupur Karan. A liberal repository of traditions, Bishnupur Gharana has shown a wide acceptance of different vocal and instrumental forms, though its root lies in the Drupad tradition that came here from the devotional songs sung in Mathura, Vrindavan, and in Rajasthan, in glory to Lord Krishna. Shangita Charja, Ram Shankar Bhattacharya, 
is regarded as the first guru of Bishnupur Gharana who had his training from Bahadur Shain, the other eminent guru being Gadadhar Chakravarti. The lineage of this Gharana comes down from these two gurus. Along with Drupad music, in later ages, Bishnupur also incorporated Rudravina, Surbahar, Sitar, Banjo, Shurashringar, Nas Tarang, Esraj, Mridanga, Pakhwaj in its music genres and between the late 18th century till the early 20th century occupied a seat of glory not only in Bengal but also in India. Pandit Manilal Nag, son and disciple of Shongita Charjo Gokul Nag, belongs to the Vishnupur tradition. Shongita Charjo Gokul Nag had received his training in Shurbahar, Sitar, and Drupad song from Shongita Charjo Ram Prashanno. Bandhupadhai of Vishnupur.